Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome back to Titanic VR. Coming up tonight, we're going to finish the main campaign with the final two dives. Up first, we're going to be helping a world famous director as he films his documentary over the wreck of the Titanic without any more stalling. Let's begin! Welcome to the game! Let's jump straight into it. Continue, a good sir. Radio check, Wilson. All clear, Dr. Lynch. I think you're set. Just remember to only turn on your wide beam lights when you are directed to by Mr. Can't Ocean. Can't I leave them on all the time? No, they'll drain your battery faster. Alright, I think I'm ready. You'll need Whoa. to change over to channel 95 to speak with Mr. Ocean. His call sign is Ocean 1. Great. Thanks, Gene. I'll talk to you later. How do I change channels? That was around the time I won my first Academy Award. As you know, I've won a fair few since then. Uh, yes. Very interesting. <laughs> I'd just like to thank you again for having us here. We're big fans of your work. I know, son. I uh, Ocean know. One, this is Sedna. Sedna, this is Ocean One. Welcome to my uh, palace. It's good to be here. Dr. Lynch, I have my right-hand men here, Harold Walsh and Sean Jones. Say hi to the doctor, boys. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Hey! Nice to meet you, too. All righty, down to business. We're filming sections of the bow today for my upcoming film. It's an educational documentary showing how much I've learned about the ship. And of course, it'll also be a great follow-up to my award-winning film. I'm guessing you've seen it? Um, yeah, a while ago. Of course you have. It's <laughs> everyone's favorite. <clears throat> I'll be directing and filming from my sub while you'll provide extra lighting. Right. We've six locations to get through today, so we'd better get moving. First up is a shot of the bow. Get into position. Oh, and make sure all other transceivers are off. Now, I'm a patient man, but I won't stand for interruptions. Yeah, sure. The sure you are. Great place to start, Mr. Ocean. So many interesting things located here. That's from the Anchor, Ford cargo hatch. The, name, the iceberg damage. Uh, what part will we be filming first, Mr. Ocean? A panning shot up the stem, finishing where John and Daisy stood in my film. Oh, that's John and Daisy. Part. I didn't realize John and Daisy were based on real people. Oh, they're not. But it's such a poignant shot for my film, I just have to recreate it. The fans will be... Wouldn't it be more educational to show areas with real history? Ah, Walsh, we will. But I want to start by filming the most important locations. Ones that are linked to my films. We need to start by reminding people about the tragedy of the ship. To capture that the scene with John and Daisy. Very emotional. Of course it was. That movie was a visual masterpiece. And this documentary will be even better. I don't know, I quite like the angle this is going on. I got a lot of respect for James Cameron. It's thanks to him there's a whole new generation of people like in the Titanic. Like this is paint this is clearly posed this is him. This is James Cameron, right? They're clearly pretending to be him. And they're kind of making fun of him. That's not very nice. We need to show him a lot of respect. Oh, that's cool. And let's give us a slight turn. Hey! <laughs> We're quite low down. Can I pick the lights up? Look at this. Oh! Hang on, hang on. Free cam. Look at this. Oh, that's so fun. That's so cool. Oh. Uh, so yes, uh, that back there we saw the forward hatch cover. That blew off and ejected itself from the ship as it... Oh, he wants me up there. As she slammed into the ocean bed. That's the reason why that forward crane uh, is... Uh, well, the anchor crane, the auxiliary anchor crane. You see it? It's coming into view now. That's the reason why it's pointing forwards. Because it slammed into it and spun round. Okay, right. Let me get in position, boys. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Now my controllers are slightly dodgy at the moment. I need to get them fixed. So I hope he isn't too impatient because it's going to take me maybe a couple of tries to get the right angle he wants. All right, here we go. Moving forwards into shots. Lynch, turn on your... Yes, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Your lights at that angle are perfect. <laughs> I'm a genius. You might be asking yourself, how does Eddie Ocean come up with these brilliant ideas, these great shots? And it all comes down to one thing. Research? Experience? That is pretty cool, because it's partially lit, but he's also he's lighting it himself. And funding? Well, obviously cash is important too, but it's mainly imagination. Ah, don't blind me! Turn off your lights! 
Do oh. you even know what you're doing? Oh, shut That's your so face. Mean, yeah. Where to now? To the port side anchor. Hurry up. The port anchor is an excellent choice for footage. Watch out. Beep, beep. I'm coming for there. Did you know there were a total of five anchors on board Titanic? Five? Yes, three at the bow and the two cage anchors. One on the starboard forecastle deck and the other next to the stern flagpole. Fascinating. All right, here we are. Get into position. I don't have all day. I'm working on it. I don't want to break into anything. Amazing. Full steam ahead. And now can I get some spin and some counter spin? Amazing. And Light so, it up! Harold and Sean, now, Lynch. what brings you to the wreck? We are mainly here to assist Mr. Ocean in this expedition. We are producers on this documentary, but we also wanted to see the wreck for ourselves. We've been fans of the Titanic for a long, long time. And fans of Mr. Ocean, of course. Of course! Cut the no. chatter! There's an artist at work. Done! Next is Molly Brown's room. I want a shot of that brass bed. Margaret Brown, Mr. Ocean. She was never known as Molly. Whatever, Walsh. I don't care. Uh, and sorry, uh, where are we heading? To B deck, of course. But wasn't her room on E deck? Her account in the Newport Herald said. I don't care what her account said. I have the camera, and I say it was this room. Lynch, stop dragging your feet. Get into position. Where do you want me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe there in front of the window. Get in there! Nice and close. I'm working on it. The mustap seems to be getting slower than normal. Like, really slow. But this guy, he's a real, real hot ticket to work with. He seems to know exactly what he wants and doesn't want to give anyone else any credit or awesomeness. Little did he know that me, Sir Spammers of Spammington, is lighting his scenes. If only he knew who I was, he might be nicer to me, but no. Like, swing my butt around. Gonna lower my saffatini weeny bit. Oh, we good? Lower a bit further still. Hmm, no brass bed here. Well, that's all right. We can work around it. Is that so? Am I doing good? No, no, no! What are you doing? You're in the shot! I haven't moved. I'm in the same spot. I'm surrounded by incompetence! You realize who I am, right? We'll have to shoot it again. Move back, move back, and make sure you keep out of the shot! Sorry. Yeah. I don't like this guy. Look how close he's getting to the ship. Whoa. Ah, uh, up there, I see. Slightly into position, this should be nearly it. We're going a bit closer, a bit closer. Uh, new position, done. Uh, lights, lights good? Got some more down on, down on the see, lights? that wasn't too hard, was it? If you focus, you can actually learn something about filmmaking. Next up is the captain's quarters. I want a shot of his bathtub and bedroom. Get over there! We're going to cover both the bathroom and bedroom. Just make sure you it keep out of the shot. It was state-of-the-art on the ship. Give you a choice of fresh or salt water, hot or cold. Salt water? It was considered therapeutic at the time, although most wealthy people only washed once a week. Have you seen it before? Well, I've seen pictures. I'll tell you what's therapeutic. Diving, especially at this site. I love to come here and relax while filming. It's so calm and peaceful. I can only imagine. All right, positioning, lights. Come on! Okay, I'm coming. I mean, James Cameron, he, he demands a lot from his people, but he's no, nothing like this guy. We're going to cover both the bathroom and bedroom. Just make sure you keep out of the shot. Right. I'm behind you. Yeah, that's good. The angle's great. And now, the bedroom. What? No, I can't talk. I'm at the bottom of the ocean. Do you know how unprofessional this is to contact me in the middle of a shoot? Yeah? Well, you should have known my transceiver was left on. I can't be expected to do everything around here. What I'm is this old. guy? Okay, we'll keep going. They can fix it in post. Lights off. The David is up next. Get over to the marker. Did he say a David? Does he mean the David? Which David are we filming, Mr. Ocean? David number one. 
He's calling it a David. The one first officer Murdoch last operated. Stop everything! There's a major historical inaccuracy and we gotta talk about it. So just now, the James Cameron director guy, he's like, we're going to lifeboat one. And the historians on board, they're like, oh, the one first officer Murdoch last operated. This is a mistake. This is particularly a very big mistake because the lifeboat David they're going to launched lifeboats too and collapsible D. They tried launching collapsible B from it, it fell over and it turned turtle and they couldn't get it over right before the water came tumbling over the edge. Anyway, the lifeboat David they're actually referring to as the, la the one first officer Murdoch last operated is back on the starboard side, back by Captain Smith's cabin. We spoke about this in the last episode. It's the one that's still cranked in, ready to receive a boat. He launched lifeboat one, he got collapsible C away and he was trying to get collapsible A away when they ran out of time. The water rushing over the deck flooding it they have no choice but to cut the lines collapsible a would float off titanic it's not a little mistake that you can kind of just pass up and no just no i will message the peoples and i will inform them of their grave mistake continue the video where do you want me placed above pointing your lights down we're right there buddy I'll write that you down. You're gonna love what I got for you. It, it's gonna blow your mind, sir. Oh, it's so good. And I just love how the ship is just kind of emerging from the darkness and then also disappearing equally into the darkness. And I'm like having both of our subs here working together. Come on. Yes, that's the way, Lynch. Shine down like the heavens. You, uh, you don't have much experience diving, do you, Lynch? Well, this is my first expedition here, but uh, I've dived. I expected as much, judging by your piloting skills. All right, now get down onto the side of it. I want to see lights coming across, casting shadows. You're an ass. I've driven, drive, oh, no. oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, that's not quite right. My angle's off. I need to get a bit lower. Um, uh, Mr. Olsen, you should maybe... It's not good for the decks, you see. I'm the experienced diver here. I know what I'm doing. But you're damaging the wreck. I'll park where I damn well please. Steven never speaks to us like this. Steven? That's David Spielberg. Oh, oh, oh. Still very cool, still very cool. Um... Yeah, what, 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 was, what line did I just fluff up? I, I was speaking and I fluffed. <laughs> I don't remember what I was even saying. That's gonna bug me. Yes, I have dove on the Lusitania and the Bismarck. Where have you been? Everywhere, I'm sure, because you're a millionaire. Pick up the pace, Lynch. I'm a busy man. I want another downward lighting shot. This time for the GSC. The GSC? What's Grand that? Staircase. The Grand Staircase. Keep up. You'll notice that this wrecked staircase doesn't look anything like the one in my film. It's because the original staircase broke up and floated out of the ship as it sank. Hey, I've, I've already said all accurate. this. Yeah, I personally oversaw the whole project. I like to be involved in everything, you know. It's a hard job, but the art is worth the effort. Yeah, I, I think... Mm, of course, it couldn't have been done without my team. They helped a lot with the actual production of the film but it was my guidance that got us there. I think that's why I won so many awards for that film. Guess how many? Guess how many 11? awards? Yeah, go on. How many awards did I win? 11. Uh, well, maybe... 20! <laughs> Can you believe it? 20 awards for that single film! And I'm expecting more for this documentary. I'm revolutionizing the film industry and just being here. Get into position and hurry up with those lights. His name is James Cameron, explorer of the sea. No ocean too deep, no budget too steep. Who's that? It's him, James Cameron. Hold your schmeckle, okay? Big shot movie uh, producer. See that? That damn fish ruined my shot. I'll have to reset and start again. But Mr. Ocean, that's the ghost fish. It's rare to capture it on film. Surely you know about the ghost fish. Of course I know about the ghost fish, Walsh. Are you going to follow it? No, I can't. My sub's too big to navigate down there. Even with my piloting skills, I can't get close enough with a camera. Uh, I can try getting near it with my ROV. Don't be ridiculous. If I can't get close, you'd have no hope. What size is the ROV? Do you have a decent camera? Uh, it's pretty small and fast, but it's only got a basic camera and lights. You can't be seriously considering this. 
I'm afraid so. Dr. Lynch... But, but, but he's an amateur. If I get an ROV, I'll be able to... You can't afford an ROV, Mr. Ocean, just like you couldn't afford this dive. It was your decision to blow the film budget on CGI. <laughs> that iceberg looks amazing, and you know it. It'll make this film. <laughs> You're lucky we even paid to bring you down here at all with the way you've treated us. It certainly won't be happening again. Are we finished with this filming session, Mr. Ocean? <sighs> yes, I guess so. Then you're free to go, Dr. Lynch. We'll be in touch. Yes, of, of course. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, that was relatively harmless. I quite enjoyed that, actually. Working together with another sub and positioning the lights, much like on a technical dive, that was good fun. Although, I feel like I'm allowed to go and play with my ROV for a little bit and chase down this uh, ghost fish. Can I see you in there? Hello? This is my ROV. It is amazing. Some say its arms move too quickly. Others say you're not a very nice person. But all I know is I'm amazing. Oh, can I get a cool photo of the two together? And okay, so I believe I have done my duty. Put this away. Bloop. Can I have a little a little look for the ghost fish? Could you poke your lights down here for me? I'm now the big shot director. I could really use some of your help. Oh. I mean, you say I got a basic light. This light's pretty pretty good. I can see where I go. Hey, ghost fish. Oh, hi, Spammels. We meet again. Ghost fish is a director up there. He wants to have a little word with you. I'm sorry, Spammels. That can't be arranged. The elders have spoken. Ghost fish is crazy. Oh, hot damn. Don't leave me behind. It's cold. My batteries won't last that long. No. CCGS Wilson, that's a Sedna, over. Sedna, this is CCGS Wilson, over. I'm ready to head up. How did you go with the filming? It was interesting. I'll tell you about it when I surface. No worries. See you soon. Goodbye, autopilot. Here we go. Hi, baby. We have our storage cabinet, I just realized over there, in the last episode. There's stuff. I've had a call from a Mr. Walsh. Yeah, he was with Mr. Ocean. What did he say? That he and Mr. Jones were impressed with your attitude and interest towards the wreck. And they'd like to hire us for a contract to film... a fish? A ghost fish. Apparently it's newly discovered. And the footage of it is worth quite a bit. It seems to live deep inside the wreck and they need someone to film it with an ROV. Ah, I wondered about that. They've paid to upgrade Predator's cameras and lights, and want us to dive tomorrow, weather permitting. How was Mr. Ocean? Painful. How'd you go with the images? No luck, unfortunately. I'd hoped we'd find something for Jillian. Well, at least the images can be sent off to other teams. Yeah, I'm just not sure where we go from here to find Henderson. I hope Jillian has something for us. Does that mean... There she is! I was waiting, I was like looking right at the screen. Hi, Jillian. Hello, how are things? Not going well, I'm afraid. We haven't had any luck with the images. I've searched through them all and haven't found anything relating to Henderson. I don't like how the background is grey. Came up today on the wreck either. My research into the debris fields hasn't brought any new leads. I'm very sorry, but we've had no leads on William's grave site for several days. And as per our contract, I'm going to have to put my funding for this expedition on hold. We understand. Look. I appreciate all the work you've both put into this search so far. And if we do find a new lead, I'll be happy to reopen the search. But I just can't afford to keep you down there without anything solid to pursue. It's okay. We were aware this might happen. We're thankful that we've had the opportunity to work with you. This experience has been unforgettable. We've managed to learn so much about William and his life in such a small amount of time, and it's made a huge difference in the biography. You'll both be credited in the book, of course. Yay! We'll continue to look for clues around the site and give you a call if we find anything new. Thank you. I'm so sorry to have to pull out at such a late stage. It's fine. We understand. I hope we'll speak again soon. Well, that's great. It's the nature of the job, unfortunately. Sometimes there's information popping up everywhere and then long periods of nothing in between. What do we do now? We continue with our dive tomorrow. We have funding for that, at least. After that, I'm not sure. In good news, we have some new gadgets for the ROV. Hooray! The new lights and camera are over there right. on the table. I'm on this. Slam that up. 
Here's a light. Give me this. Right, gonna pop that right there. Amazing. And another light. Oh, doubly amazing. So we're coming to the end of our adventure for now. The funding may be running dry. Oh God, oh God, that's an expensive lens that's dropped on the floor. Eh, nothing happened, right. Oh, yeah, no, no scratches, it's, it's fantastic. So this adventure's coming to an end. We've hit a dead end with the research in terms of the person we're trying to hunt down. She wanted to find his last resting place if possible and to film some more stuff. That's not gonna happen now, sadly. However, we have ourselves a go fish, ghost fish to go and ph photograph and video deeper inside the wrecks. That's what we're gonna get ready to do now. Okay. Bye, See you tomorrow. Amazing! I can't wait to test out these new wild, wide field of view lights for the ROV. Radio check. Coming through clear, Dr. Lynch. Something wrong? No, just realizing this might be our last dive. That's okay. I'm sure something will pop up. Even if it doesn't, we'll find another sponsor for next season. Yeah. Okay. Where should I look for this fish? Mr. Walsh said it's usually spotted around EDEC. All right. I'll head down there and take a look around. Did he give any tips on how to do he this? He just said it's agile and very fast. Makes it difficult to capture on film. Okay, so I'll need to be quick and try not to scare it off. And remember to use the new red lights too. The fish doesn't seem to see red light, so it shouldn't react. I'll activate them when I get down there. Okie dokies, go to EDEC. Oh, we haven't even explored like the, the, the crunch end of the wreck yet. Oh, hang on. Get an external view for this bad boy. Oh, uh, can you see it already? How it's all just compressing down. Uh, let me try and spin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, ho, ho, ho. right. Let's get an, an on-end view. We can see some of these boilers. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, we're not going to enter the ship from the break. I imagine we will go back to the grand staircase. But then again, we have quite. There's the boilers. We have quite a, a nimble and small ROV. Maybe we could get a pokey poop around. So these are the dreams, like the ROVs we've had so far. They are of a size and there are limitations of how far they can penetrate. And while Cameron did attempt to get into some of the, the cargo, I mean, the, uh, the boiler rooms and such, he went down uh, Scotland Roads, but uh, there was this, it was too dangerous. There's too much debris. There was too much chance of it being lost. Uh, Oh God, this is so cool. Oh, there's a bit of texture disappeared. Not to worry. Right, can I poke my lights up a second to hold up? I wish you could control the lights whilst being in 363 cam. There we go, there we go. The big, yeah, big lights are on. So these boilers, they're three stories tall. They're, they're, it's really hard to get a scale of size just being stood here. They're just absolutely behemoth. Um, ROV? Should we try and ROV this up a teeny weeny bit? I'm mumbling my words a bit today. I apologize. It's terribly unprofessional of me. But I'm doing my best to bring to you the best of possible experiences. There's some passages where we, there we can slip up into. Okay, let's go around the sides. Okay, well, we're nearly in position. I'm going to poke my lights down once again. Uh, the spin, so I... I don't want to be facing the bulkhead. I want to be spinning so we can actually get some light bleeding onto the decks below us. And I'm not going to try and squeeze my, my sub down there. Because that's a stupid idea that only stupid people do. When there's something strange on the Titanic, who are you going to call? Spamos! Because <laughs> we're hunting a ghost fish? Have you got a ghost problem? Well, call us now as we... Literally, blum, blum, blum. <laughs> Spin our way down the bottom of the grand staircase. Oh, there's so much exploring I want to do. So much. Hey, buddy. But I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, do too much in one go, you know? I want to really space this out and make it a, oh, sorry, make it a focused experience, you know? So that's why this whole story mode, we've been sticking to the main campaign. Oh, there's no, there's no column. So good. We've been sticking to the main campaign, doing what it asks of us, with a little bit of side exploring. Amazing. Uh, but I uh, switch your lights to red. Oh. Oh. Search the area for the fish. It's going to be just around the corner, isn't it? Um, but I, while this series will come to an end after this episode, for now, um, 
before long, we will be back with a brand new fully fledged series. What I'm thinking is I'm going to break this ship down deck by deck. Maybe a 10 part series, I don't know. And uh, we'll just do a real big deep dive exploration of this game and what it's got. And then also don't forget, there's still the whole stern section to be added to the game experience as well as the 1912 portion. So we have a long roadmap ahead of us working with Titanic VR. And that door's going to fall down soon. Hello, knock, 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 knock. Life bouts on. Head up to the boat deck. I'm bumping around. Uh, yeah, so we still have a lot of enjoyment to get out of this game and a lot of things to see and do. And even some behind the scenes exploring with our cheating, cheaty, cheat things we do. Am I gonna check out the cabins? Well, that's, that's creepy. That's particularly creepy. Ah, oh, the dresser. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I like this a lot. So I could have so much fun just going cabin to cabin, door to door. Things are gonna get a bit pinchy down here, but we will endeavor to go as far as we can. Ooh, okay, well, that's. Oh, that jellyfish is terrifying! Why are you just flopping there? No! Uh, so there are many life forms that seem to... I think I found it. Can you get it on film? Yeah. I'll just get closer. What? Oh! He's hiding behind the door. Jellyfish, stand down. We don't need you, jellyfish, man. Calm it. Ghostfish. Yeah, there's another one called the bat wing, because it seems to kind of flap its fins like a, a bird flapping. Here it is. I'll keep my distance and start recording. Okay. Come back, fishy wishy. Ah, uh, cabin. Now, where'd you go, ghostfish? Come back, ghostfish. We're not done with you. It is time for your close up. Which way did he go? There he is. He's leading the way. He's like. I'll keep my distance and start recording. You're coming towards me, mate, would you not? There you go. Nice, steady shots. He's doing a bit of a donut, you know? He's, he's giving it some circles. That check me out on my mad skills. I'm really great on my right hand turns. Unlike that chap playing this experience right now, his right hand turns are not very efficient whatsoever. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? I'm getting too close. Look at you. You're adorable. Oh, should I be filming? Ah, ha, ha. Video camera. Recording. Ah, and notice the camera. It's heading for the staircase. It'll be harder to find if it gets out the ship. I'll follow it. Following it. I didn't realize I had to actually activate a camera. Hey, buddy. Nice little tracking shot. Looks a little bit like Jar Jar Binks. Just a teeny bit. Oh, look at this panning shot going up. Oh, amazing. Oh. I don't want to say I'm amazing, but I mean, I'm not bad. Are you leaving the ship, sir? I'm recording you the entire way. Am I getting too close? Am I going to fail the mission? Come back, Ghostfish, come back. No, it got out. Quickly, get after it. I am. I mean, I got one set speed. There's there's the go speed and there's the stop speed. Right now I'm not stopping. Jellyfish in the distance, be gone. Where are you going, sir? Where does one like to swim to on the wreck of the Titanic? Where's my table? There it is. I got you. I got you. What's that? You like to be over the first class lounge? Is that so? Going down again. I feel like David Dabber right now. And so, we see the ghost fish. He's swimming around. He's looking for himself to find a mate. The troubles of the ghost fish is that they are invisible to other fish. Only other ghost fish can see them. However, if one's looking for a partner ghost fish, they become extra transparent so they gotta swim super fast that way the female ghost fish can feel their presence 
and will then reveal themselves by undoing their braziers. What the hell am I talking about? Curse fish, man, where are you going? He's taking me for a ride. Oh, is he taking me over to debris fields? Got a bowler hat. Oh, is this going to be the information I need to give back to the lady? It's like ghost fish. Hi, ghost fish. Are you telling me where the lady's person is that I'm looking for? That I don't remember whose name is. Hi. Oh, look at you. You're adorable. Yeah, you are. Blah, 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 blah. Hi. Mwah. I get the feeling like this is the grave of the guy I'm looking for. What am I doing, fish? Chase the fish. I have chased the fish. I found the fish. Here's the fish. I'm going to try and swim around, see if I can trigger the event to happen. It's clear that's what the game is suggesting for me to do. Okay, so I've gone back to my sub, right? I'm going to travel over there. I'm hoping maybe with my increased lighting, it might, I don't know, reveal that grave site. I don't know. Okay, so I've brought the submarine here. Hey, fish. Like, what more could the game ask of me? So, I mean, there's a book. Is that his Bible? If I can pick it up, I could identify it. Shoe, bowler hat, his jacket, a Bible, a ghost fish. I've got a camera. What more do you want from me, game? Well, the game is clearly bugged out, so I have no choice but to kind of do this whole mission again, which is a bit frustrating, because it's clearly this is the end of the mission. There's the remains, and we'll scoop up the Bible and maybe the bowler hat, and we'll go back in and we'll be like, oh my god, amazing job, everybody. So be right back. Okay, it stopped again. Do you think you'll be able to get close enough for a clear shot? Yeah, it's, it's in a good spot here. Is it really in a good spot here? Okay, well, we have a new trigger that we didn't get before, so let's try this again. Hopefully, we shall be okay. I, I think the, it bugged because of the camera being out last time. Oh, my. Concord, are you seeing this? Is this what you want, Concord? I've got it. Did you get enough footage? Yeah, I think so. Do I need to do anything else while I'm here? No, that's all you needed to do. You can change back to your normal lights again now. Oh, but when I do that, it's gonna be like... God, Ready to head back? Not quite yet. I saw something behind the fish shimmer with the light. I'm gonna check it out. Might as well. This will probably be our last dive. It is the pocket watch. I can see it now. It's a pocket watch. There's also clothing, a bowler hat, some shoes. It looks to be a Bible cover. A Bible? Is there anything identifiable there? A name? Initials? We need to mark this location, and I'll take photographs so we can verify everything in the lab. Uh, photograph the scene! Give me this! And... Alright, location is marked. Are you able to collect the pocket watch? Yeah, it's just sitting on top. I'll leave the other items. Well, bring the Bible back too. That might have more significance. W J, hey, Gene. I know it sounds unbelievable, but I think this might be Henderson. Are you sure? I think you might be jumping to conclusions here. Maybe, but with the initials on the watch and the Bible, I mean, it's possible. Well, what should we do? I'll head back to the surface. I really hope you're right about this. Thank you, Ghost Fish. You have brought comfort to the descendants of the family. And hello, not Ghost Fish. Oh, hi, Spamos. I was just checking in on you to make sure nothing bad had happened. You're, you're crazy, man. Leave, get out of here. I'm going back to the surface. Do you want to come with me? I didn't think so. Leave me alone. Okay, submarine. Chop, 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 chop. To the surface. Here we are in the lab once again. Wash the pocket watch. The watch is in excellent condition. You wouldn't even know it's been down there so long. The initials are engraved on the back, and the face shows the time the ship sank. It's extremely old, but and also it's in great condition, but it is also incredibly fragile, so you got to treat it really carefully, okay? I missed the bath. It's your fault. Give me a second. Eh. Ow. Okay. Wash time. Wait, would, you, would you behave? Right. Swoosh. Swoosh. Blah, 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 blah. What now? 
As we already know, Henderson's initials don't match any other first-class passengers. A watch like this would have only been owned by a wealthy man, too. It looks the same as the one in his photographs. It must be a match. The shoes and coats seem to be like the style Henderson preferred. He always had his shoes handmade. The Bible pages appear to be completely deteriorated, but the leather cover is intact. I'm sold. I think it's time to contact Gillian and let her know. I agree. Gillian! With the grey background! How are you both? Going well, Gillian. We have some good news for you. Oh? We think we found Henderson's final resting place. Oh my, are you sure? Where was he? He was near the back of the bow on the port side, close to the debris field we were scanning two days ago. Placed a marker and photographed some of the items at the location. We also recovered a pocket watch from the site. It has the initials WJH engraved on the back. Do you think it's possible it could be someone else's? Have you checked them against the photos I sent through? Yes, the items match the photos. We've found him. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me, to finally find William's grave. I was starting to think I was wasting my time chasing ghosts in the Atlantic. Now you have an ending for your biography. Not just that. We have closure. What would you like to do? I want to come down on the next dive with you and place a memorial plaque at the site. I want to see it for myself. Great idea. What did you want to do with the items we've collected? They'll be displayed in museums, alongside other people's recovered belongings. It's important that children learn about the tragedy of the Titanic, that these objects pulled from the ocean remain as reminders of the lives lost. And to thank you both, I want to fund our next expedition. Our next expedition? Where are we heading? Where are we heading indeed? Oh, thank you for playing Titanic VR Early Access. This title is still in development and there is much more on the way. Please tell us your suggestions and comments at the website there, immersivevreducation.com. Thank you for making this project possible. The team. The next exhibition. So that's that next expedition. That's going to be to the stern, isn't it? And I imagine so. Hang on. Let, let me let me take this off. It, it seems to be stuck on this screen. I get it. Right. Hi, how's it going? So that was the end of the main storyline thus far. It has a bug at the end because I can't seem to get back into the game to do explore mode and stuff. I'm sure if I relaunch the game, it will be fine. That was a great way to wrap up the main storyline because when we hit that dead end, I actually thought like that's where they're going to pause that story for now. Maybe we will revisit it in the stern section of the of the game, of the experience. And um, this whole ghost fish thing just seemed like a... I don't know, a bit of a decoy. And it kind of was, because the ghost fish led us to the remains. We have now wrapped up with that story is now done. It, it, that, that, it's done. It was nice. It was really nice. Uh, it's not without its bugs, like the whole we had to do that catfish level twice. But it was OK. It was fine. I had a lot of fun. It's only early access. Things will improve over time. I'm very excited to see what's going to come. So we have the whole stern section to look forward to. And that's an area that's kind of little explored, mainly because it's destroyed. Everyone likes the bow because it still kind of looks like a ship. The stern looks like a ship that exploded. <laughs> anyway, I'm having a great time. The series is over for now. I thank you all for watching and for commenting and being part of this. I thank Immersive VR Education for giving us a review copy of the, of the experience. And I look forward to the future. Christmas is fast approaching. I'm going to be going into hibernation. The channel will continue uploading every single day. So if you're new to the channel, please do give it a chance to stick around. Daily content coming every single day. We're going to pick this series back up early next year. But what we're going to do, probably what I spoke about during the episode, doing some exploration, maybe going deck for deck, maybe recreating some scenes from documentaries. The world is our oyster. There's so much we can do, and there's so much still to do. So I'm going to leave it there. So on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.